Hey, 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 Superior Shave fans and other humans, it's a uh, small business Saturday. Hey, help me out, throw me a bone, right? I'm going to take one of these basswood blocks that I have shaped very specifically. This is the presentation of two wheels to your razor. This first shape is a wheel that is six and a half foot diameter. Now the other side, you shape the other way, the long axis on the, on the plate. Harder to see, but I can promise you it is in fact there. You see there? On the, on the on this axis, it has a short diameter going across, and this one has a long diameter going across. So this one, it's hard to see versus the ruler. This one, it's kind of easy to see versus the ruler. Gloves, Dovo green paste. So I'm going to put that on this axis and cut a new edge into the razor. I'm not going to stop until all of the scratch marks on the bevel look like that. I have no idea how long that could take. And then on the other side, I'm going to put the, the Thiers Assard diamond paste. That will be for finishing, and you just drop on that, and then you strop, and we will get rid of this seven days of growth. I'm going to use this rescaled Dobo Best Quality 6 8 I have definitely put on some convex hones, but never anything to such a dramatically small diameter as six and a half feet as the primary shape. Alrighty then, here we go, Superior Shave fans. Here we go. Oh, this part's terrible. This is a terrible job. For being six microns, I expected it to feel prettier. You want to hear that sound. So I just wanted to briefly show you your alternative. Take the block of wood. The wood is more for sprays, but I don't have any sprays here. I only have paste. If we put the razor just on that, and it touched it like this, it's effectively on the inside of a wheel, which means that the edge is going to be slightly convex. But we want the edge to be concave. We want it to be as concave as the razor will hold without crumbling, because that's the way they used to be made back in their prime. You know, it's just a quality of life issue. Uh, you could put this behind lapping films and it would work just as well. I don't see how you strop sharpeners and lapping film, pe lapping film people. Uh, yeah, it, the ending is good, but it's a pleasure to use a nice water stone or a culticule or an Arkansas stone. And that's more like a chore. I guess I could get some finger cots, right? And I'm just going to take this little crayon. Ooh, it's taking it really well, actually. As you can see, it is going in there and it's going to stay in there. I want to use all 24 square inches I've got here. It's looking good. I think actually it's probably ready for stropping and shaving in just a minute here. I've been at this for 45 minutes. Oh man, it really took off a ton of steel from this thing, didn't it? It's important for your finishing strop that you take some paper towel and go like this. 